Place of Peace is the first authentic Japanese temple ever to be dismantled and fully reconstructed in America. Place of Peace has a Japanese name, Haisaiji. Haisaiji is an authentic Buddhist temple originally owned by Tsuzuki family from Nagoya, Japan. After the Tsuzuki family immigrated to the United States, they decided to sell the land where Haisaiji was rested on. Because Tsuzuki family are good friends with Dr. David Shanner from philosophy department at Furman University, instead of destroying the temple, they decided to donate it to Furman. Japanese temples were built like interlocking puzzle blocks, so it is possible to deconstruct every piece and ship all the pieces through Panama Canal and store all the pieces in a textile factory until the necessary funds to reconstruct this temple are raised. In 2008, when the fund is ready, 13 Japanese craftsmen come in all the way to Furman and rebuild the structure. Haisaiji has come a long way to see us in the United States. The Asian department is now in charge of Place of Peace, and we are very fortunate to have Dr. Yagi, professor from the Asian Studies Department, to talk with us about Place of Peace. Good afternoon, Dr. Yagi. Thank you so much for coming and uh, willing to do an interview with us about Place of Peace right in front of the structure. Mm -hmm. My first question would be uh, if you could uh, introduce mm -hmm. a little bit about yourself to our audience. Oh yes, of course. My name is Dr. Shusuke Yagi. I'm the professor and also the chair of the Department of Asian Studies. Mm -hmm. And I have been teaching here for more than a quarter century. And I have been teaching Japanese language, Japanese literature, Japanese culture, including uh, religion, uh, anthropology, uh, and films. Mm. Uh, such a wonderful career. <laughs> yes. So, as I said earlier mm -hmm. in the introduction part uh, of how Haisaiji has come to America, mm -hmm. and yes. I was wondering if mm. you could tell us uh, what was Furman's attitude on yes. um, accepting and welcoming a Japanese Buddhist temple. Oh, the administration was quite, uh, you know, that the enthusiastic about this. Mm -hmm because that is actually uh, fit the ideal of Furman. Mm. You know, that they not just uh, one religion or one ethnic group mm -hmm. uh, and uh, one sexual orientation, mm -hmm. but you know, with the diverse cultures, diverse people, and that is actually match. Uh, so therefore, the administration was really enthusiastic about bringing this to Furman. Yes, and it echoes with um, engaged mm -hmm. learning as exactly. well. Exactly. Yes. So uh, right now, Dr. Yagi is going to show us around, and uh, we could probably take a look inside as well. In the interview, Dr. Yagi will tell us how he feels about having Hasaji in America as a native Japanese, and we will start our tour from the water fountain located on the steps of Place of Peace. Uh, usually. If you go to the Japanese uh, Shinto shrine, then you have to cleanse yourself before getting into the uh, shrine. So what you do is to wash your hands first and then wash your mouth. So that cleanse everything about yourself. There's no dichotomy between the mind and body in, in Japanese philosophy, but by doing that, you cleanse everything about yourself. After explaining about the water fountain, Dr. Yagi let us enter into the place of peace and take a look inside. So now we are inside of place of peace and uh, I'm with Dr. Yagi. When we entered in the place of peace, what caught our eyes first was the calligraphy on the wall. Dr. Yagi explained to us about this extraordinary work done by Tohi Sensei, founder of Shin Shin Totsu Aikido. Dr. David Shanner, the main contributor of the Place of Peace project, is also the disciple of Tohi Sensei. Because it was the Buddhist temple for Tsuki family, there used to be a Buddhist altar in Haisaiji, but now the altar is removed and the calligraphy is at the center of Place of Peace. Now, Dr. Yagi is going to demonstrate to us about how to 
uh, behave or sit down and then um, in a meditation session. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Well, there are many ways to do the uh, meditation, like in yoga, for example. But basically, you cross legs. And this is half lotus position. But if you're flexible enough, then you put this side onto here. At any rate. Now in yoga, you do this way and then close your eyes. But then in Zen meditation, you make a circle. This is the hole. Okay. H W H O L E. And then you don't close your eyes, but half open, half closed, closed, and then look at maybe about six feet in front of you. At the beginning, what you do, what the master does is to okay, After the demonstration, Dr. Yagi told us that Place of Peace has open meditation sessions every Wednesday from 7.20 to 8.10 for both the public and for men students. After the meditation demonstration, we walked out from Place of Peace and went to see the beautiful view at the Asian Garden, which is right across from Place of Peace. Now we have the bridge that is entrance to the Asian garden, uh, some people call it Japanese garden, because there's lots of the Japanese garden features actually here. Bridge is the place that literally bridges this world and the other world. So when the Japanese people come over here and cross the bridge, that means he or she goes into the netherworld or different universe or different world. Oh. So they, that actually prepares him or her to encounter something mysterious, something very different and wonderful. From this angle to look at uh, from the lake is quite beautiful. Oh yes, yes it is. And it's very different from the usual angle. That's, well. a, that's also true. I'm wondering why Furman is lots of tribute to Asian culture. Yes, it's only an example. I think that the other cultures, you know, it's just the, it's happened to be Asian culture. Oh, has it? Yes, so it can be Islamic culture or South American culture or African culture. During the interview, Dr. Yagi also told us that as season changes, the trees and flowers around the Asian garden are also going to change. In autumn, all the leaves will turn into the color of red, and in the spring, students can take pictures of the beautiful cherry blossom. Thank you, Dr. Yagi, for your excellent and detailed introduction about Place of Peace, your demonstration of the meditation process, and your perspective of the Asian culture at Furman. Dr. Yagi told us that his sincere hope is Place of Peace would become not only the iconic symbol of Japanese or Asian culture, but Furman's commitment to diversity and sustainability. We can clearly see Dr. Yagi's hope coming true as the Place of Peace is now open for both a class called Body and Mind, a GER course for wellness of oneself, and public tours on Saturdays and Sundays from 1 to 3 p.m. Thank you again, Dr. Yagi, and that's it for today's show. We will see you next time.